Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna to be finishing up this toddler bell. I have so much to tell you about this piece. Um, but before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support. So anyway, let's go back to this one. She may look a lot different than what you remember from yesterday's video. And that's because, and I do this quite a bit, um, I feel like the first time that I make anything, I'm always, you know, making adjustments to it, whether it's the color, um, the texture of the cardstock. So let's talk about, this is Toddler Belle. <clears throat> so originally I wanted to keep her colors kind of muted because, um, oops, give me just one second here, my goodness. <laughs> um, because she's the baby, we have Teenage Bell, and then we have like Bell Bell. So I wanted to make them all a little bit different, even though it's the same character. Um, I originally, if you remember, I went with like the pale pink flowers because it's Toddler Bell, but it just got kind of like washed out. So I do like the change in the red. That's the pop of color. Um, I still kept the light green for the flowers because I still wanted everything else to be softer. Now her hair originally, if you remember, I had just regular brown hair. And she still looks really, really cute with it. But I felt like she got a little bit um, drowned out by the other bell. So I'm gonna bring the other bell over so that you can kind of see. And I'm just gonna put this over so you can get a feel for. She looks adorable still, right? Um, but I'm gonna bring over the other one that we did. So here's the other one, and I feel like her hair, it's this beautiful bronze HTV. Her eyes are very like um, bright and colorful. It's a glitter brown card, um, br glitter brown HTV. So if you remember, this bell is all HTV except for the black and her skin. And even her skin, I have one, I'm gonna show you. Do I have it right here? I do have it right here. I do have an HTV version. I just can't decide if I'm gonna use it. It's a little bit more pink than I wanted it to be, but look at that, okay. So if I end up going with this one, she's actually all HTV except for the black. So you can kind of see she's a little pink for me, but She's not, she's okay, right? She's, she looks really good. Um, I think just when you have everything else, like to compare it right next to it, then it looks a little pink. But other than that, she looks, I mean, I think she looks fabulous as is, right? So she's all HTV. So with Belle over here, I felt like this brown was kind of boring. So that's why I changed it to da, 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 this, right? Um, I think the other change that I made was I switched out her eyes to like a gold glitter cardstock because I didn't want the eyes to match the hair, just like I did with here. We have a third Teenage bell coming and her hair is a different shade of brown. The eyes is a different color. So I'm super excited to show you that. Um, I think that's the only change that we made. I kept the pale pink lips. I switched out the gold paper for like a different yellow so that it doesn't match the, the dress, but it's got like, it's pretty. So everything's kind of different. I mean, right? This looks so good. Okay, so let me show you. I already cut the foam board. I've done that a million times on many other projects. So if you need to see it from the beginning, please go to, um, to a different character but I've cut out the foam board and I'm gonna outline what I did so that you guys can easily follow. So basically you get a regular foam board from the Dollar Tree, okay? And you just lay it on top. Now she's 36, almost, I think she's 36 inches. So I, I had her on the diagonal like this and I did not add a piece to her head. I'm gonna keep her head slightly unsupported because she doesn't need it. The majority of her is gonna be covered. So all you do is you take a white pencil, do an outline, just outline, go out, trace this, 
and cut inside the lines. That's all we do, okay? Now I'm gonna show you where we are. So I'm gonna use streamer paper, or streamers, crepe paper, whatever you wanna call it, and I'm gonna show you what we did. Similar to this one, because this is going to an expo, I don't want anything to distract from the front, from the image. So let me pull off the HTV, because I'm not glued down yet. Okay, and the back is this. So if you caught a glimpse from the side, you just want to look at the front. It's all black, it's nice. So that's what we're going to do, is I'm going to show you how to do that here. And let me make sure, okay. So I started this, you just cut little sheets of little pieces of streamer paper like this. And I use Barely Art glue. You can use, I mean, I think you can use any glue, but this is just easy for me. I'm gonna put it down like this and just keep running strips across, okay? And then on the side, because this is the top, I did one streamer paper on the top. I'll do it on the bottom right now so you can see what that's like. And then you just tuck in, glue, tuck in, and you're gonna have a nice, you know, like, nice even look. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do the bottom like I did the top, okay? So what you do is you cut a strip And we're just going to put glue along the edge. And we're going to do this. We're going to wrap it kind of like in the middle of the streamer. So that half the streamer is going to go in the front, half of it's going to go in the back. And then, just like the top part, you're going to have the streamers running across. So you're going to have that pattern, but you have this completely covered. So you only need to do that with the top and the bottom because on the sides, that will be covered with each of the streamers running across. So right now, I'm just going to, I'm gonna cut this off so we don't have so much here. Okay. And then it just takes a little bit for it to dry. I'm gonna put this down here just so that it can sit. And I'll pretend to do this bottom, but I want to do it all in um, layered from the top down. But see, then it would go like this, and then you would cover this, right? So then you're going to just, then this line. Just like, but I'm going from top to bottom, so I'm going to switch that around. This is on. I'm going to glue this down on the side. Glue this here. So this will be ready for us when we get down to this part. And then I'm gonna go over just one more thing and then you're gonna be done with this portion. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it around. I'm like, what just happened here? Okay, so that didn't stick very well. I didn't put enough glue. Now keep in mind, this is gonna go this way, right? And then we're gluing bell down with hot glue gun. So all these streamer pieces, I mean, I'm not too concerned that it's not like super glued down. It's glued down enough that it's gonna stay in place. So I'm gonna do the next row so that you can see it. And then all of this, we just tuck in because again, bell is gonna sit on the other side and it's gonna stay down and you're not gonna be able to see it at all. So now the top part is all black, right? It's all nice. And if you get excess like this, just put a little bit of glue down to wet it and then just push down and it will stay down. It's crepe paper, streamer paper is so easy to work with because if it's not tight enough, just put a little bit of glue and press down and it will take shape. Okay, I'm gonna do this next one. Is this piece long enough? Okay. It's 
So you see, that's it. And then over here, I'm going to put... There's no wrong way to do this. <laughs> all right, so pretend you have this all done, right? Top to bottom. You're gonna flip it over when you're ready. And all these pieces you're going to, I'm gonna glue this down right now. I'm gonna use a hot glue gun to pull this down right here. I just don't want to burn my hand right now. <laughs> and this side doesn't need to look neat, right? Because Belle's going to sit on top of this side. So Okay. When you go to put her down you're just gonna put hot glue gun and glue her down and then she will then be supported and can stand and can stay propped up all right um that's kind of all I have for you but I'm going to let's see is this dry it's almost dry okay we'll cut a little bit more we'll we'll do a few more strips so that you can get a feel for how I do it so I just start cutting So you can see, nothing fancy, right? We're gonna do the next line right here. And this is the back. Really, no one's gonna be looking at the back or spending a lot of time looking at the back. So I'm not worried about these glue lines. This white one will you know, dry, but it'll just look like it's like that. Um, I'm not worried about that at all because, like I said, this is just to let people know, like, there's nothing on the back. Look in the front, be amazed by Belle, and that's it. <laughs> All right, um, you know, this top part right here, I almost think that we need to do another line like this and maybe these two areas as well because it's gonna be easier to do this than it is to kind of wrap it around. So you're gonna do that the whole way down and I think we're good. All right, I can't wait to show you all of the pieces. Make sure that you follow like on Instagram or you can always go to my website, theuselesscrafter.com and that way you can see the whole write-up for the project, where to go, the materials that I use and all the pictures. So I think with the pictures and the tutorial all wrapped up together, then it really gives you a good idea of how the project's supposed to look front and back, um, you know, and just to answer the questions along the way. Thank you so much for following. I'm so excited for this project. Don't forget, I'm gonna be live. So live is on Instagram on Jan Saturday, January 22nd at the Expo at 11 o'clock Pacific. And uh, we're giving away lots of prizes and you can only win if you're actually on the live. So it's a really, really good chance to win prizes. <laughs> Plus you get to see the Expo. I've never been to a crafting Expo, so I'm super excited to show you. On Friday, I'll be going live. I'm going live a lot this coming week. Um, but I'm gonna go live on Friday as a, just like, a visitor, you know, experiencing the expo. On Saturday, you're gonna experience it as someone working a booth, because I'll be with Polly Tape and DJ, DJ David, no, DJ David May, 1976. No, DJ May, 1976, David. 
Um, he is doing an amazing custom shoe, so I'm super excited to show that um, to you guys, and that leads to our fundraiser. So more details to you know to follow on that. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs>